Yeah. And for the very first time when this man came into my life, okay. I, I, glory, uh. glory, hallelujah. <laughs> it was, <laughs> uh. my husband must just be a partner, must be mm. a friend. And I mean, I just, I just needed that man. Okay. Before we got married. Oh. I had all the things that I had wanted. Okay. According to my initial plan mm. remember the two kids the men mm. the provision and everything yeah. despite having the car i could not drive it alone i needed to have a bodyguard by my side so it was not what bodyguard i wanted by and your side yes yes i was a queen Pela. so why, you cannot why? just let a queen go uh, to a shopping mall alone so i'd always travel wait, with someone said, who was you... looking after me oh, okay. yeah he was taking the relationship very seriously Ish. yeah very protective of, of his assets <laughs> Mm. I was his most precious asset, remember? Yeah. I think Vele, when you want to come into my life, you 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 must brace yourself mm. for good see. But the woman is very independent. Mm. And remember, once you stand in my way, mm. you achieve my goal, then I'll simply remove you. Okay. But the thing about me is that when I want something, no one can stop you. Uh -huh. I can push every stone. I can even come out of that wall. Mm. What I wanted was to get into parliament. Okay. And I was going to go into parliament as a woman. Yes. There on its own journey to strategize mm. how am I going to rise above okay. with all the men that are going to be in there. Mm. And when you understand in life because you've got limitations, the yeah. only thing you can do is to put more effort and apply more time into your work so that you can be better than those laba, mm. Those laba, who have an age over know. you. Okay. Yes. So do you think you will give love or marriage a try again or you you so right with that department? The first recognized female um Deputy Prime Minister in Swaziland at the age of 28. Deputy Minister. Deputy Minister in Swaziland yes. at, the, at the age of 28. Mm -hmm. um, Lovu, we're so honored to have you here. Um, welcome to Open Chat. Thank you, Mtogo. I'm so also greatly honored to be your guest today. And I must first start by congratulating you for having successfully called me to be here. Uh, thank yes, you. I'm here and I'm ready. Okay, no, thank you, thank you. And I must say, I really mm. did corner you because hey, for a moment I thought you were no longer coming and yeah, you told uh. me you don't like being interviewed and everything like that. So Shobi, the, the, the basic um, conversation we're going to have today is basically mm -hmm. about your life, you know. We're interested to know, what is such a young, successful lady in Swaziland. Um, how did you grow up? How were you raised and everything? So we're just mm. going to have a conversation about it all. I know you were born and raised in Espigi, mm. where you're eventually uh, an MP, right? Uh, so just talk us through about your childhood, how you were raised, um, having a wealthy father like um, Mr. Ndlovu, who, who's done a lot of um, beautiful things as big. So just tell us back then, Gatseni in Swaziland, um, when there wasn't much money in the country, but mm, being in a, in a wealthy family, how was that? I'm not sure whether there was money. I, I did not see money. I could not see money at that time. I was just living a life having been born in that family. Okay. Yeah, about my life, I would say it's, yeah, it's really a, a rich life. Yeah. A life that has been very well lived. Okay. And there is so much I can say about my life. Uh, but starting from where I was born, it's obviously Peak's Peak, from a Christian family. I grew up there. From there, I then went to Manzini for, for Manzini Nazarene for my secondary and high school. Okay. After which I then graduated and... I took a gap before admission into the university. Oh, you had a gap here mm. before, before? Yes, I had mm. a gap. But then my intention was not to go straight to the university. Uh -huh. I had a completely different plan. By the time I completed school, I already knew that this was the life that I was going to pursue. Ah, okay. So it did, not, it, was, it did not gravitate much on education, okay. but I had my idea okay. of, yeah. Then, then tell us, because um, Ukule SP, which is a relatively rural place, so where do you get the vision so and insights? So Pixpik is rural? To, yes, yes. Oh, definitely. Pixpik is a yeah. town. What do you mean? It's always been a town. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's a town in its own standard, but I hear what you're saying. But Nje, like, um, what, what, what inspired you to, to have that vision at that age? Like, where had you seen it? Uh, it was, I think it was influenced by my, the experience while I was growing up. Okay. I was in Peak's Peak, but I didn't even know much of Peak's Peak. Mm. I was confined to a household. It was either, if not church, school, 
home. Okay. And that was that was basically my my life just revolved around that. Okay. So I was quite inquisitive. I wanted to see things, but I was very much not exposed. Okay. And the only time I would go up out was not even for school trips. I wasn't even even allowed to, Is it? to uh, yeah. What was the reason for not school? to be allowed for? I mean every school needs every My child dad would make to... you choose between the family trip and the school trip. Family you trip or school trip. Yes. And you choose a family trip. Obviously because they were they were better and that would that would have meant staying back at home alone whilst everybody else oh. would have gone out. So annually there would be those okay, family, family trips. Family. Yeah. And and any memories of those childhood memories that come to mind when you think of the family trips back then? Ah, they, were, they, were, they were amazing. They were mm. fabulous. We had every, we would just have everything okay. we want. The best time of our lives was then, particularly in Deben and oh. we'd go to game reserves and okay. yeah, it was it was really no, good. Must have been yeah, nice. school that holidays must have been. we would do that. Okay. Yeah, once together a year. as a family, once a year. How long would yeah. that be? How long? Mm, the duration a whole of the, week. Mm. We'll spend a whole week at that place. Yeah, no, that's that's that's, yeah. that's that's really nice. Mm. So I so thought that was basically the life that I lived. It was it was, it was beautiful. It was very soft, okay. I must say. But my parents were very very strict. Very that's strict. That's why I'm like we were just caged, okay. always at home. Yeah. So the only thing you'd really look up to was the December holidays. It was being free. Okay. I was really looking up to being free. Perhaps that's the reason why when I when I completed school, I made a plan. I knew when I completed high school that I was going to have two kids. Mm. I wanted to have two kids. I had drawn the plan up to their secondary life. Okay. And where they were going to go. They were going to go to Waterford and I'm, I'm glad they ended up there. Okay. And I knew how, how mm. the whole thing was going to be funded. Okay. But it revolved around... Uh, Getting an acquaintance with a good guy, getting uh, married, uh, and yeah, okay. living the life. Okay. No, yeah. we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let's not. So that um, was the plan. Okay, mm. okay. Then I hear that you are very confined at home and everything. Mm. So um, now you finally leave. Um, you finally leave a uh, pig's pig. Uh, this is a young um, Shobi. You go to mm. Uniswa. You you enter your first year at, at, at university. So I just wanted to know. Um, what was your vibe back in the days in university? Were you a club girl? Um, were you a bookworm? Like, what were you known for during your high school days, because your varsity days? Because I would assume you are known as my boy manager from the top of my head, one of the beautiful girls in the varsities. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Yes, but leaving home or, or getting into university mm. was was a very exciting experience, okay. especially because it it came with the, the liberty that I've always sought. And... Um, yeah, at school I was just a student like any other, and obviously we 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 had a hefty scholarship allowance mm. that we would enjoy receiving, and we would do all sort of things with it. So yeah, that was the best time of my life actually. Okay, yeah. what do you remember what you did with your first allowance? This is excited young you with so much money in your bank accounts. Can you recall what you did with your first allowance? Uh, my first allowance, I was I was I was married. Is it? I was married already. Okay, after 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 high school, I joined the Times. Okay. As a, as a, as a reporter. Mm-hmm. And then whilst working for the Times, then I, I, I got married. Remember I said I, I took a gap year. Gap year, uh, year after high school. Yeah. After high mm-hmm. school. And the plan was not very to go to university, Street. remember. Okay. And then I met the guy and the mm-hmm. guy okay. did fit the, pro- how the, the profile. How, how old are you at the time? I was, I was 18. You got married at 18? No, I didn't get married. I got married at 19. At 19? It was very early, yeah. Can you can you imagine your daughter it. getting married at nineteen in our day and age? I wouldn't agree. Ne? I wouldn't. Yeah. 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 Nagimi, it's it's not like I consented to it, but oh, because okay. I happened to be at his homestead okay. and then traditionally okay. I, I okay. found myself yeah. Yeah, that's actually yeah. one of the differences that I notice with, with, with your guys' age mates. My mm. mom also got married at nineteen mm. and I was like yeah, I got to be an operator because mm. nowadays I mean a nineteen year old is a super is a is a is a super young child. Um, I married in, into a good family, mean into because they family. understood that I was young mm. and coming from that family, men and zangs and pegging show. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, so at times I would call my mom and take it through, those, and ah. the expectations were not so much. They understood because I was young. They were even calling me by name. Ah. My mother-in-law was calling me by name, so okay. it was 
Yeah, no, kind of, it was it was solved. Okay, I, okay. I I I loved the life. Okay, but I'm guessing at the time you are not in cognizance of what and it was a normal thing back in the days to be married 19, right? I did not even recognize myself as as a young m- person, as married a married oh, person. Okay. I mean, it was it was just a family that I was living okay. with. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. No, no, no. This is very because I was free. I could even wear pants. Mm. It was it was just fine. Okay. Mm. Okay. Then then another thing I want I want to ask about is um. Um, during during cause you went to um why you you did your journalism. Yes. Then you went back to Times to work, right? Yes. This this is what I like, um, because that's where we see the, 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 the character, the dominance, the success, the winner in in, in mm. Um I'm told Gutiga Times you are hired as a journalist. Yeah. But eventually you went to, to your boss, Mr. Please remind me who he was. Mr. Again. Lofler. Yeah, you went to Mr. Lofler and said, mm-hmm. Look, man. I get it, I'm a journalist, but mm. actually I want to be a marketer. Mm. And and I like that um, gashle gashle, why you wanted to be a marketer is because you realize Greg, that's where the money is in, in, in this company. So can you just talk us through that, Gweguti? When did you realize, Greg, to know I'm in the wrong space, got journalism, that's where I want to be. And where did you get the guts to approach your boss? Because so many people feel they deserve better but they mm. don't have the courage to, to just go straight to and tell a boss quick hey i want to be there <laughs> why not you know when young also so innocent you can do stuff that others maybe like say but may not yeah, feel free to do yeah. but if you are innocent at the workplace mm. and you've never encountered anything any okay. rejection or so you become freer to do things so even in this case i was i had i had served as a journalist for 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 some years and then i I approached the I approached the, the MD with Mr. Douglas Lofler. Okay. She was, you know, I'd um um I kept seeing these other guys in this other room doing the work and I've and I've inquired about what they do and I would like to try it. I feel I'd I'd be interested to join that department. And obviously I was lured by the way they were. Mm-hmm. Unlike us in the newsroom, one they were driving cars and ah. that spoke to me, that spoke to my interests okay. or my ambitions. Okay. And then I wanted something more challenging, especially because in Quaker journalism, I I'd, I'd, I'd realized that Perhaps I had made a mistake in terms of career choice okay. when we would cover events, book convention center, and we see people um, formally dressed, sitting down, and be standing there in jeans, providing the coverage. And to me, it dawned on me that I mean, I'm supposed to be that person sitting on the table, mm. not providing a coverage. At times, they would not even serve us on the table. They would give us like lunch packs to take back, and and I, I was like, I was convinced that day that. Ah, I, this is it, not where I belong. It's not the career that, that I'd envisage. And obviously, preventable career guidance were very poor at the end. At but the and time, if yeah. I were to think back as to how I got to know about journalism, I knew very well, I know very well that it's because journalists were at my face. Okay. You know, about times of Swazi and Bomb, we knew about Bombong and Mbigo. There were celebrities. That's what They've drove always you into journalism. Been, yes, okay. so the, I knew about them. So very big for Nagia Kora because okay. I wanted the life that they were living. I wanted to be known. I wanted to be celebrated. I wanted to be out there. But Just to only discover that when just, you're working there, going to this is not it. It, it. it was not it. It's okay. not what I wanted. Okay. Mm. okay. So gay. Okay. I was given that opportunity to join the 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 the, the, the marketing department as a sales rep. You so kn- then I was selling adverts. Mm. You know mm. what you what you're reminding me of actually. You're mm. reminding me of of Instagram. You see, um, that certain things look nice from mm. a distance mm. and then we we want to get them like mm. recently everyone every girl every guy wants to be an influencer i don't know if you know what an influencer mm, is I do. they see them posting cars and people think influencers have money mm. those guys are just um they just receive things used by mm. the brands as marketers so mm. i like what you're saying we would see you just end with that then still on your promotion your gaga times um you wanted to be part of the marketing team right yes yes and i like how while you saw it as a, as a desirable location, mm. it came with its own challenges. What do I mean? It has. Yeah, yeah. that's where all of a sudden you told, look, Shobi, if you want to be a marketer, this is how a lady should dress, right? The dress code, yes. We mm. told your dresses were too long for, for mm. the MD's um, 
um, preference, mm-hmm. you know. So can you just talk us through that? Gwaguti, yes, you want to be a marketer, but all of a sudden you're told, Gwaguti, fix your dress, it's too long and everything like that. Yeah. Coming from a religious background, I mean, okay. I'll, gee, I was, my dress code was very, very conservative. Mm. Like I would wear like long skirts. To me, it was cool to dress like that because it was cool. That's what was acceptable in church. And you were told you're looking good and dress like that. So... That was me, the conservative me. Okay. And when I joined the the the, 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 the sales department. Then the MD invited me to his office and he started telling me about how I need to change my dress code to mm. look corporate and to, 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 to properly dress for the for the job that I was now doing. And was, that was, you know, it, it, it really messed up my mind because okay. I had never worn like short skates or short dresses all my life. Mm. They've, they've been like very, very long. Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I started wondering as to where I was going to get those clothes because the very next day I was supposed to come dress properly. Okay. And 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 then the, the next best thing was just to go to my sister who was at, at Nazarene Hostel okay. and then I visited her and asked for some of her clothes and that's how the whole journey mm. uh, began. And okay. now it has transformed me into this. Now I'm more into short skirt than long oh, skirt. Okay, and okay. now I understand that for corporate look, Okay. It's usually okay. Would you would you say um, your your empty work for style and work for in vain work so a mentality makaya and she he contributed to just cook voice. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for everything that I want, I set my mind to it. Okay. Nala Panje, I was very open minded about it. To me, it was like. I was willing to learn. I was willing to accept anything new, but it was very uncomfortable. But yeah, I mm-hmm. had to bend because I wanted to move to that position. You wanted that position. And I was certain because I was going to make it big. And by making it big in the sales department, it means more money. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I wanted. Securing the bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Then then, then from, from, from times, um, your, your career goes even further. And I like how you said, because that's where I'm taking it now. Mm-hmm. I like how you visioned your life mm. during your, 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 your home days yeah. before varsity. You knew you wanted two kids. Um, so this is where your, 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 your husband, um, your ex-husband, Kawi Mamba, comes in. After working for times, um, you, 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 you worked with Kawi at mm. um, Channel S, which was called, um, can you remind me? Mass what Media. Mass Media at the time, yeah. yeah. Can you just talk us through how you made Kawe and what made you attracted to him and how did you decide, Greg, to this, this is the guy who's <laughs> going to be the father of my kids? How did you mean, I mean, you're making me open very old files, man, over okay. 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, but I can never forget, obviously, where we met. Mm. Um, at a stadium, the trade fair. Okay. There was a Swallows game. I don't know which team Swallows mm. was playing. And also being a fan of of, of, of Baba and Swallows, okay. I went to attend that game with a friend. Mm. And actually, being in a football match for the very first time in my okay. life, uh, I think it was about the first year after having completed school. Mm. So Sabgura so came in. Then after the game, as we were walking out together, then he did his things. I could... I could tell, I don't know whether it was a pet or what, I don't know, but it made me turn back to look at who okay. was doing what. Okay. And then, yeah, and then I saw him. It was, yeah. I was very fascinated because Kawe was obviously a celebrity, a big name. Okay. Then I started telling my, my friends, good mm. that guy, Kawe mm. Mamba, and yeah, it was it was cool. Okay. Yeah. Do you, do you remember what struck you on that specific day? Do you remember what he said or anything like that? Don't remember. We 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 didn't actually talk because the minute he made that stand, mm. my friend just pulled me and started warning me against oh. Kawe Mamba. He didn't, but okay. I did not hear a word. Okay, you didn't hear a word. <laughs> I, you were just excited no, to be. No, it was all good to me. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Then then you you met Kawe. Um, you worked at mass media. You guys were together. Then, then I'm also told you you contributed a lot to mass media in, in in growing the company. Can you just tell us how the the early days were? What were the activities? Benba Pizingani while growing the company before it was named Channel S. Um, yeah, we we I wouldn't really say it was much contribution, but having had the experience, the sales experience from from the times, times after yeah. gaining it, then I was. 
it was it made it easy for me to join mass media okay. because i understood marketing better mm. and um and mass media was going to survive or generate income based on a similar arrangement mm. like getting money from so okay. i was used to approaching customers and okay. identifying potential customers getting the resources from them mm. for for the economy of our business so yenage he was on the production side oh, and yen okay. was he was focusing on okay. the production whilst okay. I was doing the other side okay. the marketing side which and was easy then and we, we worked very very hard yeah okay and yeah. and just just to give us a few pointers because even us here on open chat I mean we're trying to to get those people to work with us what have you seen work as far as convincing people to 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 work with you as a company I think it, it, it's it's all about how you package yourself okay. when you, you when you approach them, mm. and if you you are really particular and you you pay attention to every detail, mm. the clients will appreciate what they see. What mm. once they become convinced with you at mm. face value at Perfect. at your first presentation, don't mm. they would they would make that decision whether they would want to associate their business with that particular company or not. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. And and we always told hey, sorry, sorry guys, like say what's going on, Jens? Yeah, I said no, say gab now you are sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he says uncomfortable. Nam mm. saying at the Um okay, so yeah, working at mass media, um as you're saying you were working in the in the marketing mm. departments because even us here at Open Chats, we were trying to get companies to like partner with us, sponsor with us. So mm. can you just give us a few pointers of um what have you seen work? Mm. Mm. It, I think it's the way you present yourself okay. to the company from the way you package yourself and to the way you you you, you pre- because the the first impression of you ah. will make them decide whether they want to do okay. it or or not okay. and also you have to be as convincing as possible and mm. prove it beyond reasonable doubt that you have the game mm. at the tip of your hands okay because they would not want to give or to associate their their businesses with someone who will mess it up. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. No, mm. no, we will take that cause. Yeah. It's a bit so tough. So now them I see your company as the best. Okay, okay, mm. okay. And 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 working again still on Kawe and working together with your husband. Were you feeling like you're like the power couple um uh, bright futures? How was the vibe in the marriage? Great I've just got my bay here. Um we've got a kid, we're married, we're young, we're running our businesses. How was it like during those days, Nji? It was going then to work on a business mm. with her husband. Mm. No, 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 for me, it was it was it was really early stages of 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 my my marriage, and uh. I think it was, it was even the first year when it became very glaring that uh, I I was not comfortable where I was. Uh. I was feeling very much confused. I I had all the things that I had wanted. Okay, according to my initial plan mm. remember the two kids the men mm. the provision and everything yeah, yeah. else it was sorted yeah whereas i had all of those things but i realized that it was not in my terms it was not in the way that i had planned to mm. have it because once i have a car but it, it had set boundaries it okay. can it cannot go beyond oh. it cannot travel at this time it okay. cannot that's not what i had in mind okay. i thought i was going to have a car and be able to take my friends and okay. go all around with okay. with with it but then no w- w- despite despite having the car i could not drive it alone i needed to have a bodyguard by my side so it was not what bodyguard i wanted bodyguard by and, your side yes a bodyguard by my Side. Yes, I was a queen, Pella. So Why? you cannot Why? just let a queen go uh, to a shopping mall alone. So I'd always travel wait, with someone who was you... looking after me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was taking the relationship very seriously. <laughs> yeah, very protective of, of his asset. <laughs> mm. I was his most precious asset, remember? Yeah. So, so it would be hard for you to just move around alone. No, no. So I was I was confined in mm. the office. So like the whole day I'd be in the office. Now I wasn't even free to go and speak to clients. Now there were people mm. who were employed to go and speak to clients. Mm. Okay. So it started becoming very, very lonely, and mm. I, I, I realized I didn't like where I was, oh, and okay. that's when I started to, to pull an alternative. I looked for an alternative, and and it was obviously going back to school. Mm. But now I, I was married, and I knew because there was no way my husband would accept that idea. Mm. So I had to find a way. Because I mean, the thing about me is that when I want something, no one can stop you. Uh-huh. I can push every stone. I can even come out of that wall if I tell myself that I, mm. I need to come to get through that wall. So, Nana Pege, I, I ended up getting the form I applied. 
uh, fortunately, I used the same name, right? I applied and and then when the scholarship period came, I was called for an interview. But Nakuna, everything, I was, I was hiding everything. Okay. Okay, scholarship, the biggest challenge was that scholarship, they need, the husband needed to consent. Oh, <laughs> to okay. Be. I, I had to come to okay. bring the husband along for the interview. Okay. I didn't do it. And mm. when I got into the room, I was, where is the husband? Mm. Then I just laid down my case and I pleaded with them to call my husband. But mm. if I don't explain, I was, there was no way I want to go to school. But I I don't think I'd be able to make him understand how very much I need mm. this, how very much I, I, I need to do it. And then, yeah, they, they helped with that. They contacted mm. him and he, he, he came. And you know what I like about, he, he you know what I like about, about you, what I'm learning right now? Mm. I like how you don't allow um, set protocols or structures to limit or control you. Mm. I like how from a young age at home, you had a vision. I like how um, also got times you realize this is not the job I want. You know, I like how, how you I just am. go That's out just of the how way. I am. And mm. What do you think has contributed to that character? I, 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 I really don't know. Uh. I can't really point at something. Maybe it, it's the independence that I that, that I had at home in terms mm. of thinking and all. Perhaps it was it was that I can attribute it to that okay. more than anything else. But what I want Vida, mm. I, yeah. Can, okay. I'm quick to tell if it's if, if I'm in a metering place it's on, okay. or it's not the right thing for me. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um then um yeah you're working with Kawega Channel S we, mm. we we are normally told mm, don't mix um, business with pleasure. Um, don't work with your spouse. It causes conflict in a relationship mm. uh, because sometimes business gets too heated um, situations whereby and so if you're working with your wife, you're restricted work to Mamtetisa um, Ufigepiabo. Mm. So I just want to ask, do you think from your experience working with Kawe and running mass media, did it affect the marriage in, in any shape or form? Not really. We were... We were... Mm. We were we were too close. Okay. We, were, we were more like friends. Oh, that's how okay. that's how we would relate. And I so I I wouldn't say the marriage affected. It was affected by the business also, but perhaps it, it I can just attribute it to the age difference. Mm, age yeah, difference. Yeah, it mm. got to a point where yeah I started challenging things. I started being conscious of what life is, the life that I'm supposed to be living because I was exposed, I was now exposed to other young people at the university. Mm. And I felt uh, I needed to to try out things. Mm. I will never forget the this particular day when my class had a farewell party for a guest lecturer who was from the US. Okay. So then dinner was organized, mm. a class of eight people, who were the first group of journalism students at oh, the University of Southern. Oh, um, okay, okay. So there was this guest lecturer from from, from the, the US. US so yeah. so yeah. I got somewhere in Matapa and my husband was away on business, on okay. so national duty. Ah. And then, okay, I mean, obviously, in, in my home... You had your security, I'm guessing, while he's gone. Your bodyguard was around. Yeah, I had to ask for permission to attend that, 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 that okay. event. And then I was just, okay... The two bo- the, the two guards were gonna accompany me, and <gasps> okay, his mother was gonna look after the the kids. Okay, um, in the in the house, and then yeah, everything went well. We mm. went out, and when we could, they were, they were supposed to sit beside me. Okay, and then I spoke to these guys. Were like, uh, no man, relax on. Just, just relax. You uh, can take your own table and okay. sit over there. Here's money. Do yeah. whatever you wanna do. And, yeah. and then, then you know, I remained with my teammate, and then okay. as we we're doing it. Due to peer pressure, uh-huh. okay. and I mean, they ended up offering me stuff which I must taste. Uh-huh. And then I had that one drink, okay. which which was really nice. Some quickly, it was a cider. Then yeah. it was, um, and I felt like it was drinkable. But there was nothing okay. wrong with it. Yeah. One led to another. Yeah. By the time we <laughs> left the restaurant, <laughs> yeah. I get and, 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 and you know, I was I was still feeling okay mm. until I got into the car. Mm. Once the car was moving mm. in motion, yeah. then I started feeling butterflies in my uh. stomach. And when we parked, the, the minute you parked the car, uh, Valenger, I was waiting for that moment because I just yeah, wanted to rush to uh, that one room but through, that yeah, was going to yeah, save me. Yeah. yeah. And then as I entered the door, mm. Kawe's mom was sitting over Choo. there. And he, she just looked at me. I could tell because she had born at the 
it was a small house and the bathroom was just close to the to the lawn. So she could just hear everything. Aish. She just took the kids one bull and a bull. Mm. And that was it. And what's going on through your head at that time? And are you thinking flip? I've just messed up. The husband's return. That was on your mind. What will happen when he comes back? Yeah. Mm. But at that point, I said, because I had this other life I wanted, that I wanted to pursue. Mm, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, I wanted so to like, be at school and I wanted to be free. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. And, okay, okay, okay. Mm. And so like um, speaking on the age gap, so you think um, it's not advisable for, for the age gap to be that big for, for the difference in... I don't know. It kind of makes you skip so many years of mm. your life because yeah, well, whilst mm. you, 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 you enjoy the attention that it gives you at the beginning, driving mm. you all over... But at some point you get to realize because it's not actually about love. It's not actually doing it for myself. Mm. But we went out for Yena. It's mm. jealousy, trying to be overprotective okay. so that you cannot be exposed to others. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. So once you get to realize that, ah. then so long as, uh-uh. Okay. Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, things, things. You, st- you then begin to challenge things. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So seku wo seku baga because when I once in general, you know, I I'm I'm not feeling this, and mbo mm. there is no way out because I mean, my parents they will try to engage your family members, book engage a book advice, but you know they they will always tell me things like. Um, those yeah, words, that's what they like, told, you have they to be there leaders, forever. Yeah. But if I'm, I'm not comfortable now, I'm not What's happy now. What's the being, point? Yeah. I'm, I'm only 22 and we're mm, talking already. forever yeah. now. We're talking forever. Yeah. 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 must be like this yeah. forever. I yeah. say, no. Uh, you no. know, you're scaring me actually because I want a 10 year age gap myself. So I'm thinking, I'm shocked to go on if that's the case. In, in, in that regard. Uh, no, you, c- you can have someone who's younger, mm-hmm. but um Allah way to go through okay. that. Like if I have a school and I have a school in, okay. yeah, be uh. like a student. But then the issue of trust, then because of your experience, yeah, yeah, much hot guys, mm. they tend to ah, be to be to okay. lag maybe because of their experience okay. and the issues of trust. Okay. Okay. Baba. Okay, yo. Very clingy to their women. As, and if they are young, then it becomes very, very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I definitely yeah. agree. Definitely agree. And no. you can only be released by 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 by, by education. Okay. Mm. Was there any yeah, because you have to be self sufficient now and yes. you have to be a self made woman yourself mm. in your own right. And you'd have realized uh, mm. this is this is not the right path. Okay. Maybe not good for me mm. or for what I would like to be. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, guys, and to those who are new to the channel, please remember, guys, to hit the like button and um, let us know what your comments are in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can see new videos in the channel. And then, still on, um, we understand that with um, um, with the channel is everything. I mean, enough about Kawi. I mean, this we're here to talk about your life. It just happens to be a section of it. Um, then after working at Channel it's very significant. Yeah, yeah extremely. Two kids. Yeah. <laughs> It is. Mm. Then, then um, this might offend you. I uh, we have to know, you know. The people wanna know. There's a pastor. It's your opportunity to know. Yeah. Mm. Th- there's a there's a pastor. Um, pastor Fidelis mm-hmm. comes into your life. Yeah. Um, Shopsile throws the biggest wedding we've ever seen in the country. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And people appreciated that because you had two events you had one for the people that was less glamorous but accommodated for everyone yeah. that you had a special luxurious amazing wedding were you invited with sophie ndaba i was invited i was there you don't remember because i was young but i was definitely there <laughs> yeah. just kidding just kidding yeah. i was in there but i'm it's told there fun. was um mm. there was sophie ndaba mm. they i mean sophie ndaba at the time of extra generation mm. so who, who, people that don't know sophie ndaba queen that yeah. generation so can you just talk us through that because we're having we're seeing this glamorous weddings but pugu pugu. what happened there go on let me shut up what happened it was it was yeah the, the, the best time of my life okay i've already dreamt of getting married mm. and having a wedding mm. and i had exactly the the wedding you that always wanted this time i mm been dreaming of yeah okay. it was beautiful and I, I was convinced it was gonna work okay unfortunately i 
it's part of the yeah, of circumstances okay. that's why I this life has been very well lived okay it's very very rich yeah. mm. I collected the certificate mm. principles that we draw mm. yeah, so yeah unfortunately it ended up that way but I was really convinced I I wanted it and was feeling good and for the very first time being because all my life I've been a single parent mm. and bringing up two kids and mm. living in a house alone. Okay. When there's an electricity problem or something that's going to be fixed, it's me. Mm. When my car has got something that's going to be fixed, it's me. Yeah. Issues at school for the kids, it's me. Okay. You know, I've, I've, been, I've been carrying everything. Okay. And for the very first time when this man came into my life, okay. I... Hi, glory, uh. glory, hallelujah. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. He really offloaded a lot. Of pressure. Yeah, okay. a lot. Um, okay. In every okay. way, even with the kids okay. attending Timo Tabe's school mm. and stuff. He was, he was really, the, it was really nice. Okay. I love marriage. Even now, okay. I can vouch for marriage. Okay. My experience, La Punji. Okay. It was, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 uh, I just I just needed that man. Okay. And we entered that before we got married. Before we got married. Oh. There is a focus, man. There is okay. influence of Bandu and trying to satisfy Bandu to meet and my expectations are Bandu. Okay. We should have just continued okay. as we were. So what destroyed this was the public eye. The yeah, pressure. I think, yeah, yeah, like the pressure from, mm. from, from, from band. Yeah, yeah but it was my life, not your life. Uh, yeah, but so uh. <laughs> this is not I, what I'd been employed to do. Okay. So okay. I cannot e- expose it. It was very unfortunate because okay. it, it had to end up like that. Okay. I think, Vele, when you want to come into my life, you, 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 you must brace yourself mm. for good but the woman is very independent. Yeah. And, if you, ah. and if you're going to be a partner, a problem, but you seeing me sitting with a man, you seeing me doing mm. this and that, then it, it, won't, it won't survive. Eesh. And remember, once you stand in my way, mm. you achieve my goal, then I'll simply remove you. Okay. Me, I'm getting there. Okay. Then if I'm gonna, okay. I can allow you to slow me down. That's mm. okay. You cannot jog mm. every day. Mm. At some point, Within the 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 the, the journey, we have to slow it down, we slow, we slow. But if, yeah, bonus, no, 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 this is becoming an, an obstacle. Then outside, okay, no, I understand. As it, understand. it remedy get very quick in mm. the aside, yeah, aside one time. Yeah, my your husband must just be a partner, must be mm. a friend, and the the issue of trust must really be okay. there. I believe in that. And if nobody near Shatanja, imagine able to get married now mm. only to find with the partner who has so long as get cheat. I mean, I, ah. I, I would not even have those thoughts. Okay. Yeah, but okay. I'm fun, the situation in general, it's about 20 but, years. But, but I think, do you, do you know why though this happens? Mm. Do, uh, do you know? I don't understand. No, when, 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 you, have a, when you have a good looking wife, <laughs> you tend to be anxious. You understand? <laughs> It's, 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 it's. But even the guy would be the man of my choice. Mm. He'd be everything to me. And I would have chosen what I want. Yeah. And I'd be happy to be having him okay. as my partner. Then say he could pick it up my insecurities. Okay? Yeah, I know. Yeah, but then it, that becomes a problem. And in these days, it's actually dangerous. Yeah. It's risky to have a partner like that. Mm. Especially if we go away. Yeah. Because that's why they end up exploding when they about GPV yeah, that you are GPV reading about, those rise, situations yeah. are re- those yeah. situations are really really scary. Yeah. Mm. Hey, I, I don't know even what we can do because our own lights. It's I'm a guy. It's not easy. Mm. And after that, that experience maybe long long ago. Should that experience? Ngaba, yeah, I started asking myself a lot of questions because as a result, I halted that part of my life. Uh, and I said, no, no, no. I say, in particular, because now it's risky. I've okay. got kids to look after. And you may find, I get, my, I, get, I get myself a partner who will end up killing me. Yes. So really now it's risky yeah. to be dating. Yeah. It's a, it's it's a, it's life threatening because mm. you never know why what may happen. That's what kid mm. Yeah, but the man may just become something else. And I, I could see that even 
in the husband that I had, mm. had it not been good, whatever happened, happened in the public space. Something what if that could attack happened, could have happened yeah. at home? Okay. I was so close to it. Eish. Maybe I would not have been able to control mm. the, the situation, especially because mm. I, can, I can speak for myself. Okay. Yeah, but, so yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really life-threatening, so that's why I decided, eh. So do you I, think you will give love or marriage a try again, or you you, you so right with that department? I guess now saying, saying right. Uh, mm, if I saying, say saying right, I want to just focus on my kids and okay. make sure they are well-nurtured okay. and well-channeled. Um, well okay, okay, okay. mm, but I'm, I think I'm going to be even more involved. Okay. Then another thing I want to just have a touch on is, uh, I'm not too sure what PSI was, but um, we know that there was a PSI and Bignat <coughs> Lopsil and Love involved by hosting my party. Yeah, no, no. Left, mm. right and center. They bring in Zola 7 in the mm. country. The venues are packed. Zola Sotang See? helicopter. Can yeah. you just talk us through those days? Because I that, mean, don't even remind me of that mm. day. That event. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, PSI was just is 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 an is an American company oh. called Population Services International. Okay, it came to establish in Swaziland in two thousand and one, mm. and I was recruited as as the as the marketing manager. Okay, for, and and the 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 business was centered around social marketing for health, mm -hmm. which was using corporate techniques to oh. achieve a, 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 a um, social goal. Okay. And in this particular case, we were, di we were having products that we were distributing condoms, branded mm -hmm. condoms. We were introducing the concept of having to attach value to, to a condom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it was more around reproductive okay. health. So our main activity, my main activity as a marketing person was at that time was to to advocate for the establishment of the organization in the country, for for the government to accept the the changes that it was bringing okay. into 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 the economy, because at that point, in it was a taboo to speak openly about sex, sex you know, yeah. and my organization was was going to change that mm. landscape in the country. So yeah. It was it was raising awareness. It was lobbying, and I was doing all of the all of those things. So. Mm. PSI started like that. And as a marketing person, we were to introduce these brands to the local market. Okay. And these brands were obviously targeting young people. Mm. And young people you need to, identified, you to appeal music, to them. Okay. identified music as the most important thing that they are, that they appeal to. Mm. And then we associated our campaigns with mm. music. Okay. Then, and that, that during those times, Zola was, yeah. Mm. Did you get yeah, to meet Zola, um, Zola in person during those days? I Did went you, very closely with most, most of the artists. Is it? Yeah, very How, what closely. What was he because like we during like, his um, personality? Uh, Kangalagata, he's the hottest guy at the time. Like, how was his aura? What was he like working with him? Were you also starstruck? No, I mean, my relationship with the artist was different. Oh. I, mean, I was their boss. Oh. I mean, they have a book, I mean. Okay. Yeah, but so me, they, they send me a contract and I must stick to their contract. I must okay. make sure whatever that's stipulated in the contract is available. Okay. And I manage them. I make sure it's back on a good event. And whilst managing the artist on the side, I'll be managing the, 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 the whole execution of the event to ensure that the communication messages are coming out. right. Because it was not just for entertainment. Okay. It was for a specific goal. There were other and, goals and Get value to the condoms, as you said. Yes, a mm. social impact. We, okay. And afterwards, it was the, the events were evaluated scientifically to ensure that people had gotten the right message. Okay. So I needed to do my to play my game right. So mm. I was conscious all the time, unlike okay. the other spectators. Ah, to me, it was, it not, was not a party. To you. It was not it a was party. A mm. okay, okay. But it ended up having opened up opportunities for me. So much power, so much influence. I, uh, I was very powerful. Yeah. yeah. yeah mm. no, that's that, that must have been nice. And then, as you said, PSI also came with um, other opportunities for mm. you. Another thing that I, I think um, PSI did for you, it put you on the map. It made the youth especially recognize and, and attach to you more. Mm. So after, after PSI, this is also where we see... Um, the rise. I'll call it the. If if this is a movie, this is an episode. We're gonna call it the rise of Flopsy and mm -hmm. So your star rose even further from that because after PSI, mm. I mean, you shocked a lot of sources. How did you shock a lot of sources? This is where you entered what we call a man's game. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, kubang MP enza when you get to act it's a men's game. Mm. So after PSI, we see Shopsi le winning Luket for becoming the member of parliament, right? Mm. Was this mm. Can you talk us through that? Uh, how easy was it for you to, to get the, the people? Because Luket for basically to those that don't know, you basically went through <coughs> voting, right? Yeah. Um, how, how was the process to you to gain people's favor, to get people to vote for you? How was that? Because at the time, I'm assuming in Swaziland, there's that notion actually women can't lead us. Yeah, so mm -hmm. how did you turn that around and, and win? You know, I mean, in life, when I approach anything, mm -hmm. I remove all the negative ne negatives and I just focus on what I want. Okay. What I wanted was to get into parliament. Okay. And then I understand how, wh wh what is the way to okay. parliament. And then I was told was when you campaign as a woman, you have to sit down, you have to do this, you have mm. to do that, you know. And at that time I was dreadlocked. I had my tongue start okay. and I wanted to go there as a young person. Yeah. So I, I, I then decided, no, let me not try and change who I yourself, am yeah, and become position. a formal person. Let mm. me just be myself. Mm. Let me go there like this because I had already been exposed like this. Okay. Then they would be able to pick it up, the young people that, you know, no, it changes and mm. remove this, this and that. And I, and I just approached it the way I was. And mm. because I knew what I wanted. When it comes to the formalities of sitting down, I just embrace them. Okay. If this is how it's done, then I cannot say, ah, ah this thing is going to suppress okay. me. It, it will not because it's a norm. Okay. It's culturally so. Okay. Actually, they would not accept me if I were to, to come and do otherwise. Ah. So I, I embraced that and I, and I followed the, 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 the channel. Okay. If it's a common understanding of the people that I must be seated, then why not? Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, the, this is this is probably one of your. Is it is it correct to assume that this is what probably one of your best times in life? You are young, you're impactful. Two salaries, PSI, MP. I I, I assume life was soft. Was the softest <laughs> then? <laughs> it, it it wasn't. You know, in two thousand and yeah, it was soft. Yeah, okay. I must agree. In two thousand and three, uh, uh, Parliament was. Parliament remuneration was not as it is now. Oh, okay. Like we, like about seven thousand. Oh, the basic okay. salary was okay. around then. I was actually earning more than PSI, PSI then. but because of the ambition, because for me, I I, I take it because I dis I discovered the power I am early, mm. and the power was that I knew, I discovered my passion mm. right on time. So it was the passion that was driving me. I so wanted to make an impact, a okay. social impact. Learning, like, even. Mm. So to a point where I even sacrificed my job. Oh. I was saying I resigned. I was, no, no. Now I'm focus on this. Okay. I was earning more than double a piece of double, more than oh, double what I was, was going to earn in parliament. MP, okay. But I was willing to forego it mm. because I really wanted to commit to this. And mm. it was speaking to me. It, okay. it was really what I wanted. Okay. I desired being there and I desired what I was doing, okay. the impact that I was making. Oh, I loved it. And I was gaining new experience each and every time. In okay. parliament, I exposed, I would, I, would, I would go out, but I needed to understand and define myself first, mm. which is what I did immediately after winning elections. Okay. I had to do an introspection and okay, my limitations are Lana and this is how I can strengthen myself. Okay. First, I identified three areas that I needed to be cautious yes, of, yes. Let's which was this. the first one was that I was going to go into parliament as a woman. Yes. There on its own, I need to strategize how mm. am I going to rise above okay. with all the men that are going to be in there. Mm. And I realized because I was going to go in there new. Mm. Yeah, bo. I was yeah. a novice. It would be my first time mm. as a, a legislator. So I was going to find people as many experience. That how was I going to handle it? I knew about that. And then the other thing was that I was young. Yeah. That on yeah. its own, Nagunji Big It represents yeah, challenges yeah, bo, it, on its own. It, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I I needed to realize because how was I gonna handle it and play around the whole okay. thing? Mm, okay. my factors lower long three. Mm. So because I had identified and done the work, the spade work before actually going in. By the time I went in there, mentally ready. I was I was okay. mentally ready. Yes. Okay. Mm. Yeah, no, this I could confront the situation. Mm. And when you understand in life, because you've got limitations, the yeah. only thing you can do is to put more effort and apply more time into your work so that you can be better than those mm, Those who have an age they over know. you. Okay. Yes. That is why I, I recall one time being a training, being a training about Nepad. Leopard. Nepad. Oh, Nepad. It's an, it's an okay. African <laughs> program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. it's, a, it's an African program. Yeah. Yeah. So now I go that meeting, I read mm. about Nepad okay. before we got into the meeting. Okay. So when you get there, you start start 
posing questions and they realize and they realize, but I realize, it, it looks like you know mm, you know and now yeah. you, uh, I, I don't know much that then but sometimes not so exposed and then as a result at the end of that meeting they appointed me the leader they voted for me to be the leader of okay. the nepad committee in swaziland okay i hope i hope people that's are how it happens if you if you re- identify the limitations and work harder okay mm, double your efforts double your efforts mm. that's it and uh, by then they so up and then they stopped seeing me as this young woman and then they, they stopped saw seeing you for me your as someone who's new okay. then now they realize because there was a potential in that woman Hmm. Where, where does this wisdom come from? I call it wisdom because some people are taught. It's a drive, it. really. It's ah. a drive. Okay. Yeah, well, if you want to achieve something, if you want greatness, remember I had set out a plan, and the plan that being said today was costly, pet. Okay. And right now I had eliminated that other prospect of yeah, yeah. having ah. people to fund this. But now ah. everything, everything was on my shoulders. Okay, you had to fund this yourself now. Mm. 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 Because nobody will ever live my life. Yeah. Nobody will ever do me. Yeah. But me. Yeah. Mm. So I need I needed to take control. I I knew I needed to take control and responsibility of my life. Okay. Every decision that I was making. Mm. Okay. Mm. Sure. Now you are hearing it live ladies and gentlemen at open chat. Um this is Lopsilia unpacked telling us mm. um, how everything um happened. Then um the 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 reputation that people Talking to you makes me realize, Gogoti, the reputation that people have or the perception people have of you is not what it is. Because Tinebesi, Bamfu Banek teacher, like to bank minister for Igbal celebrity, you should set it for me, you go overseas. There's more to that. You are passion driven. This was a job and everything. Mm. That's what you're saying. Exactly, yes. Okay. Mm. So, what advice would you give to, to a young girl who, who wants to dominate? And who feels like I'm being overlooked simply because I'm a girl. I'm not being taken serious um, simply because I'm a girl. What advice would you give to that girl? You just can never allow anyone to, 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 to take advantage of you. Mm. Whether you are a man or a woman, but you have a life. Mm. And that life, you must live it. Mm. To, to its full pot- potential and mm. you have to take control of it okay so it's your responsibility to take control of your life mm. the decisions that you're going to make are going to determine what you are going to be at the end okay and you must never even allow someone to to, to ruin it mm. Mm. take control take charge of it it's you you are living your life mm. Mm. as long as you have a life yeah. as long as you have the sun shining on your face and not shining on your grave mm. then you have a responsibility to do something Thank you. It may pull you down, but get up quickly before okay. you become too comfortable being down there. Okay. You just have to pick yourself up. And then like Club Sile, um, you are seen winning and and everything. You know, life life is full of ups and downs. Yeah. You know. As we spoke, things things are going very, very well, you know. Mm. And you are in the public space, traveling the world. Mm. Everyone talks about you. This beautiful, gorgeous MP, you know. She's not only an MP, she gets elected to be a deputy minister mm. in the country, not once, but twice. Mm. But at some phase in your life, things are seemingly going down. We're mm. reading articles, Goguti, um, your house, house has been um, ah. repossessed. We, we're reading articles. Who doesn't know that? Who yeah, I mean, know it's, a, it's a public story. Um, we we told that there's a there's a time in your life where things are not going well. You've been unemployed for... Do I you believe, believe it was repossessed now? Or it's something that you read about? Aren't uh, you in my house now? I am in your house, but... Uh, Is it the same house? <laughs> yeah, we told it's the same house. Ironically enough, we're in the house <laughs> that was repossessed. But can mm. you just talk us through your, your tough times being unemployed for six... Was it six years? It was five. Yeah, moving from... Six, actually. Six years. Oh, yeah. yeah. So my research is on point, oh. huh? Yeah. So moving from a period of earning two salaries, um, being um, being ambitious, I mean, being <clears throat> driven, being passionate about chasing a drive, you are up there, then all of a sudden... Boom. Boom. My side is going, because people didn't vote for me. Mm, people didn't Ish, vote for you. How silly you know? of them. You're doing so much and they... I was, I was so disappointed. Nah. That, was, that was very disappointing. Uh, and I felt like... I was having an electric shock. Nah. Because I didn't know what, what I was going to do. Okay. But then I realized that, I mean, I was educated. Mm. I had qualifications on my side. And I thought, yeah, they were going to work for me. But ah, mm. that's another story. Mm. Okay, I, 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 I lose my job and then they start possessing my stuff. It was... Yeah, I started, I started losing some stuff. And then now when I reflect on all of 
the things that happened because it was really a struggle. Okay. okay. It was a very traumatic experience. Okay. I mean, because I was going through the circumstance and the challenge on a pedestal, on okay. a pulpit, and people were watching and people were talking about it. Mm. It was written all over. Mm. And I had kids and everything. And I was at the very same time, I was still troubled about the fact of what am I going to do afterwards? Okay. And yeah, this was giving me like very negative publicity. Mm. I didn't want it, but it was reality. Okay. That's why I say life is really a journey. Mm. Um, and it is a process. Yeah. There are many circumstances that you're going to be for along the way. Mm. And those are those circumstances that were planted in that journey, mm. in that route that you have to, to, to traverse. Mm. So for me, I had to lose my house along the way and I lost it. It was written all over. People buried me. They did not see my resur resurrection ever mm. possible. And they just wrote yeah, me you off are like today that. in the same house that was represented. I had to pick myself mm. up. Yeah. I did not allow depression to... to wait, wait, yeah, yeah, just speaking about depression, were you ever <clears throat> depressed at any moment? Not at all. You know, when I go through such a, 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 a turbulent experience, mm. I always speak to myself. Okay. When I hear this voice saying, hey, you are finished, then mm. I rise up and say, no, 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 it's not the end of the world. Okay. There is a lot that I have to live for. Things mm. are going to change. Every day is like a new day. Mm. Every day has its own experiences. Mm. Today they are reading about this. Tomorrow they'll be reading about somebody okay. else. So it's a matter of just today. And my other strategy is like, when there's something negative that's mm. written about me, I do not then isolate myself. Oh. I cover myself because I've lost the elections, then I must not come out. Okay. I quickly come out to deal with it. I do not run away from a challenge. I face it. I go towards face it. it Let's on. meet. Let me deal with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I gained that experience even in, in when I was in cabinet in 2010 when oh. we were facing an economic meltdown. Mm. Third, it, yeah. That problem looked mammoth. I okay. could see the country being liquidated. The country itself. The country. Ah. Yes, we were short of resources. Can you brief us we what were, was going on? What was going on? Because we were we... the economic meltdown. Ah. You know, when the whole world was going through that stuff, they were, the, the resources were, were dwindling, and it looked like we were not even going to be able to pay salaries for civil servants. Oh. Imagine if we were to come out to say we'd not be able to pay Eesh. salaries for it. It, it was going to be a mess. So yeah. I, it was very shaky. I, it, it scared me. It mm. looked so close, but. With the leadership that we had, mm. I could see the mountain coming down. Mm. So that's where I gained the experience and, and, and I get the strength. You, see, mm. you know, no matter how big something may look, no matter how mammoth it may appear, but it is possible to bring it down as long as you focus on it. And I mm. disparage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just be calm and focus on it. The mountain is, is definitely going to come down. So that's how I approached Ivid Nalo. Okay. <laughs> Let me just become. And okay. also, I, I, I was, I was living at home with my mom then. Oh, okay. Mom Kokeli, obviously coming mm. from a, a, a Christian family. Yeah. My, my dad was a pastor. I forgot to mention that. And when at home, Vele, I mean, we went. He, she, 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 she like took me back to those years when I was doing Sunday school. Mm. We started going through the puppet. We spent a lot of time doing that. And then I could find Spiritual myself. Healing. We tried to find my situation in the Bible. Okay. And then we, we identified it. And we would then laugh about it. Oh. We, we likened it as easing. My situation, we liked it as uh, the stone, the huge stone that was used to cover Jesus' tomb. Okay. And in Tiswati Pipe, but in Guza and Guza. Okay, in Guza yeah. and Guza, yeah. So, my election is for the second time yeah. in Inglusa. My mom was like, oh, Mbanami, in Guza and Guza again. Ah, yeah, well, then Guza okay. and Guza is there. Okay. And we knew Guza and Guza, Guza can only be removed by okay. who? There okay. was only one person with the power to remove it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we, we approached it mm. in that spirit. And after um, realizing that it's okay, Seba Seba reposes the silly in Lu Seba, I died Tata. And I, and I looked for another opportunity. Mm. I lost my job. And then I realized at some point, was, hmm, man, I seem to have a lot of time. Yeah. Suddenly. Okay. And I don't have time. Always I don't busy. have time. Yeah. I could not do many of my things, much of my stuff because. You see, I don't have time. Yeah, yeah. But suddenly I realized, I was, you know, time is actually valuable. Yeah. It can be valuable. It. Now I have all this time. What can I do with this time? Okay. So I pondered upon that until I figured out, go say, hi, mm, let me acquire another degree. Okay. There's, there's five years. Okay. I can get another degree. Let me beg it. And then I started talking to people. All right. 
consultant bamf would say, hey, you know, I'm having this idea and nobody supported me. Mm. Everyone, Jebe, I'd say. Yeah, I, to, 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 to clarify for people yeah. who do not understand how serious this thing this is not distant learning. This is a former MP going back to school to learn with 18-year-olds in person on a daily basis. In person, yes. My classmates were that age. I recall one of my lecturers, when yeah. I was in the class, I was like, um, 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 how must I address you? I said, I'll be seeing. I said, I'll be seeing. I said, I'll be seeing. And yeah, I was a student once again, and it, it was nice. Uh. I had immersed myself in a totally different environment. It was much better than, you know, and I was seeing myself as, as being productive once oh, again. I was okay. gaining experience okay. more than, would say, unemployed, idle. Then being now I was doing something. It, that that yeah. is what I want okay. about my life. Okay. There's so much wisdom in this. There's a lot of bravery. Um, I respect you for that. That mm. is not an easy thing to do. Simply mm. because of the sabaks but out in no, 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 a lot no, of shame. people suffer from that. So no, um, big, massive respect to you for that. I, my, my opinions mm. about they don't my phase sabke, you. Seriously, they don't, and I have no business now because I have no control over them. Okay. Mm. Can I it's, just? It's just their perceptions. Mm. Mm. Can I just ask you? You, you, are you aware of how big a brand you are in Switzerland? Can I just ask you that? How big um, your name is um, locally? I'm that. I think just now, I'm I'm just a woman who's pursuing, uh, yeah, success. So. I think when I saw Vulis alone, <laughs> no, like I'm serious. Oh my goodness, let I'm me, serious. Let me try it. Let me try it. I'm serious because your name is so big and powerful. People would support you a lot. Yeah, but we promote it and be the and face of to, it. You know, no, you don't have to. I'm not good with my hands. Yeah, you don't have to do it yourself, but you have to be the face. It must be known that it's a supporter band slowly. Because <laughs> women in Switzerland like you, they look up to you. I think that would be a very lucrative um, business. So you've never thought of that. Like, I, the reason I also say salon is also because it's befitting. You're a fashion forward woman yourself. Um, you look good. You're always clean. So the brand does make sense for you to start a salon and mm -hmm. you have a decent following. I mean, I was checking your <clears throat> Facebook profile. Lord knows when you last posted, but you have 11,000 um, followers on Facebook. Those are potential clients. So you've never thought of monetizing your following like that? Not to monetize. Okay. I'd rather speak to them. Okay. That's my passion. Okay. I'd rather throw in something that is going to okay. that is going to make them manage that on its own. Okay. The social impact. Mm. If it's positive, then I monetize it. So what if I can tell you the salon we're possibly looking at 40,000 per month? profits you still don't care i know I, 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 i'm i'm not really driven by that mm, but okay. if mektoba socially the okay, impact then yeah okay, then okay. i was gonna be oh, and by the to way do, what do we do. are doing here has a social mm. impact i believe you know that mm. we are building yeah i um, heard about that that's yeah, why i better agreed yeah, to to yeah, come yeah, and support nah, the initiative okay, had, it, had it been up for money uh, for profit uh, okay yeah. and and how does it feel to be a, a grown mother who succeeded in raising her kids both your children have graduated um congratulations to that i know it means a lot especially to an independent woman mm. by fear so how does it feel now knowing that you know what I've done this for my kids through all the drama I've been through I put you guys to school long as and graduate mm. so how does it feel to be in the position bringing up kids it's a challenge on its own you need to have that energy and okay. focus and you need to know exactly what you want. The outcome, mm, okay. you must perceive the outcome and you must ah. make sure that you invest in it. You don't just take a kid to school for the for the sake of what okay. school every kid has to be at school, every okay. kid of that age has to be at school. But you must be able to visualize that kid what mm. it's gonna become. And you must be able to place it. This is where my, my, my kids are, okay. are, are gonna are Putting gonna them work. At the yeah. right school. Put them at the mm. right it's it's about what you want, the outcome okay. that you want. I don't want my kid to put an application and Bangambit even for interview. Okay. It happened with with with, with my, 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 my my eldest daughter because they're not so completed. I mean, my, both of my, my kids have completed yeah. now. One is here and the other one is in the US. Mm. Then I apply Bangambit for interview. I think it was Central Bank. Okay. And it wasn't shortlisted for interview. Mm. We're looking for you feathering your studies, girl. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, now can't I can't live like this. That's, okay. No, no, no. Okay. Not even shortlisted mm. for interview. I'd say you're no, they, they're so mm. privileged to have a, a caring mother like yourself. And now he's doing, he's doing financial planning now with Stellenbosch. I'm happy. Okay. Yeah. Unless, until that CV speaks for, for you. It You've speaks done for your itself. Job. 
Okay. Mm. Okay. No. No. So we 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 arrived at the end. It's 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 really mm. a, a competitive world out there yeah, right now. Yeah. It really is. No. So we 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 approaching the end of the opus uh, of the episode. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I know you don't like this question, but let's give Thank it a try you. again. Mm. Um, what are three things <clears throat> that people don't know about you, other than not liking avocados? <laughs> Ah, speaking of avocados, I uh, use, they are good for my face. Okay. I, I use it as oh, a special mask. Okay, 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 special okay, mask okay, avocados. Okay. It works. That, that's the only way, yeah. What does it do? It's it's hydrating. Oh, it's good for okay, that, yeah. Okay. So during during those four years, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. the avocado oh, season okay. was, was, was a yeah, good time for exceptional. Your face. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I loved okay. avocados then. So I think the most important, oh, nah, the first thing Three that people don't know about me is that my life has transformed okay. um, uh, totally. Mm. And in the past four years when I, when I didn't have a job, I got to realize so many things. I, I just got transformed. I, 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 I did not even do anything. Mm. But I found myself having changed tremendously in the sense that in terms of appetite and the things that I, I used to like changed it changed mm. my friends mm. I did n- these things happened effortlessly okay they just vanished and I found myself alone and I had different appeals in life and different desires mm. I so admire being in the house of the Lord more than anything else mm. now it, it, it just happened it okay. effortlessly I just okay. found myself like that and then mm. my, my life now revolves around that mm. and I'm and I'm really loving it so I think people should really know about that and when they see a, a, some changes in my life they should know that mm. it's a transformation that I did not even have to work on Okay. so I think it was deliberate for me to take that hold over the, those six years because okay. then and when I got back the good thing is that just as the, the almighty faithfully says that he he was holding me by the right hand side mm. and he was going to help me in, ter- in times of need. He helped me by restoring me. Hence the reason why we are still in this house. The Who can house, lose a yeah, house in, in five that, years and only to find it after having been no restored? No one has, has purchased the house. It's still the way it's for it's, you. It's grace. Mm. It's grace. Yeah, it's so that grace. My, 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 my life now revolves around that. Mm. Okay, no, we, and the other thing that people maybe may need to know about me is that um, oh, I'm now a granny. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah in, beautiful, in, beautiful child. Baby. I'm now what, a granny. Uh, I, a cute baby. Yeah. A very beautiful baby. And yeah, that has also transformed me. Okay. And it has given me a, an even bigger responsibility. Okay. Because now I need to pray for this child. Okay. I need to pray for, okay. as I pray for the other children, I need to pray for. Okay. I didn't used to pray mm. for myself much even back then because I had my parents. Oh. I had my mom now who then the passed on due to, on co- okay. due, due, due to COVID in August. Mm. I, so I lost place, a big yeah. part of my life. I had never raised my kids. But for the very first time now, I have a kid to raise. I'm experiencing it. Lala and I, it's so joyful. Okay. I love this baby. And I thank the God for having blessed okay. me with the gift of life this okay. year. So that's big. Okay. And the third one, the avocado yummy mm, or maybe. You love, you, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I cannot so be. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the <coughs> end. Uh, what a lovely episode so much wisdom dropped in this episode uh Shlopsila, thank you for coming we really really appreciate it in closing words what would you want to say to the viewers at home what would you want to say to the viewers of the open chats mm. in closing anything from the top <clears throat> of your i would head? like to say um we all have a race to run in this world mm. and in this thing called life song has my lanes and just stick to your lane uh, disregard what is happening in another's lane when I stick to yours okay. and know whatever circumstances or challenges are in that lane yeah. don't ever think it's a mistake that you'll be facing them our seasons are different so we are told and it may be summer gibi like this, this time around, it is so summery, and mm. I'm celebrating it and thanking God for it. But I know what some other people may be going through, Emma challenges okay. are. But I, I just want to encourage anyone out there, no, 
as long as you have life, mm-hmm. as long as things will change, just know that you will make it. And you must make it. Because it's your race that you have to run. Stick to your lane. The lane will carry you to the purpose that you were put mm. on earth for. Mm. Yes. Remember you were chasing other spams, Lena, to be hey, to be the first to, to hit them. They, 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 they yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and God granted you uh, that strength. And then oh, now you want to okay, give up. You, you, now, you okay, cannot you give up. You okay. cannot give up. There okay, were so many on the Brett. race. So that's what you say. You are a winner. Okay. You won that okay, race. Yeah. Some of us didn't want to win that race, though. You know, that's the sad thing. Some of us didn't want to win that race. We found ourselves here. Do you, yeah, you won. I mean? You won. We need that energy. That made you. If, if some of us had a choice to go back, it's popular. It's like, let me be this. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah um, fortunately, yeah, the yeah. purpose is good. Mm. So run your race. Mm. Yeah, it's not going to be summer every day. Okay, no. But if it's like winter and end up with their summer, it's the other, other way. way. Yeah, around, yeah. yeah. But when I mean, winter, it came very late. Like, like, with some. Yeah. But for some people, they have these serious challenges. Okay. Early. Yeah, well, okay. so for me it it was very late. But okay. right now, no, I, I I'm strong. I believe I can face whatever challenge. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Open chats with them tall obsolete edition. We are out of here. Then we just wanna say, guys, um, thank you, thank you for our <coughs> beloved subscribers who consume all of our content. Please let us know what you think in the comment section. And guys, very, very important, do not forget to hit the like button. Actually, in three, <coughs> two, one, can we all click on that like button? It helps the channel grow. It's completely free. And don't forget the red subscribe button below. It's going to help you see more of our videos. Otherwise, guys, ladies and gents, we are out of here. Done. Oh, this was beautiful. This was beautiful. I'm telling you. I don't know.